all right guys welcome back survival living here so today we have a product review this is a reverse osmosis system a countertop system from simpure uh having drinkable water clean drinkable water during shtf whether it be a natural disaster or grid down whatever the case may be is extremely important in survival so what we have here we're going to be doing some testing all right now what i've got behind me is a generic berkey all right it's not a Berkey, it's a generic Berkey, but it uses the same water filtration system as one. It uses activated carbon and also ceramic for the filters, gravity fed. So we're going to be testing the reverse osmosis system against that. Now to aid us in the test, we have a TDS and EC tester. This tests the PPMs and also uh, we can actually measure out everything here. And also it goes against the EC levels in the water. And we'll be testing our well water before it goes into the reverse osmosis system. We'll be testing after. We'll also be testing the generic Berkey style filter. Now, with this system, guys, we've got some specifications I want to cover. Reason being, that's a very small solar generator and I did say grid down. That's a little 300 watt system. We've done reviews on all kinds of different solar generators, and the reason I also do the small ones is because they have their place for the price. A small 300 watt generator can uh, provide power for a CPAP machine and water filtration. That's right. This thing uses 30 watts of power when the pumps are working, when it's filtering out. 30 watts. Let's talk about how much water this thing can produce. In one hour, production rate. 4.1 gallons of water that's pretty good 4.1 gallons of pure drinkable water at 30 watts yeah that's that's freaking awesome uh, again I did say 30 watts we will talk about the filter filter life expectancy 528 gallons now with your filters guys it depends on how nasty the water is is how long your filter is going to last and what we are going to do i am going to show you how to change out these filters right fast so this system i got it unplugged right now is all touch screen it has a removable tray down here that you can put your stuff on if you got a large container just take it right off no big deal at all in the back you get a little lip here lifts up this is your water reservoir this is where you put your water that you want to filter out it has multiple levels here it has a max and a medium level and it's got a minimum down here set that right there let's move it out of the way of the camera we'll set it over here this water we're fixing to test out i'm going to show you guys so i have been doing plenty of testing and this is the filtration system back here in the back you have a cf filter composite filter and then you have the reverse osmosis membrane now to change these out guys i got a little foam piece in here so just give me a second i'll get my fingers right there i take this foam off and you just twist counterclockwise comes right off all right there's water in here pour that out a little bit comes right off you have two ring gaskets on the filter itself so when you got your new filter you just stick it right back into the same hole and you carefully thread it to the right I want to make sure we have the uh, labels facing the right way and the same with reverse osmosis membrane now this thing here did come with mine I don't think it's necessary to have but it may have just been packaging it's not gonna hurt anything being in here so I'm just gonna put it right back just like I found it just like that now that's how you change out your filters that easy that simple just twist them off twist them back on now let's go ahead and get our water back up here this is water that we are going to purify out lock this in place now i can take this system and plug into the wall and have plenty of power but like i said this thing says it uses 30 watts of power this is a very small solar generator 300 watts 
So what we're going to do, we're going to get this thing in position here. So I can put a, tra a bowl underneath. We're going to flush the system. And trust me, you do need to flush your system. Uh, there is a guideline on flushing it. I think it's like three times. You need to flush the system. And when you put a new filter on, if you change out a filter, same thing. I believe it's up to three times. And then you have your tester just to be testing and make sure that, hey, everything's working correctly. So let me get a container and we'll start flushing. All right, so we're going to move our cord over here. Water and electricity. Yeah, <laughs> Make sure it's separated. Uh, we're going to plug in. Make sure everything is on. We are on. The pumps have just turned on. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's the low hum that is the pumps pumping water from the tank below into the filters and getting ready. And like I said, we will be flushing this system. So let's go ahead and do a quick flush. Like I said, it's touch screen, far left, mash it. And this is flushing that filter right now. And as you can hear, the flushing stopped. All water is being pumped back into the filtration system. This is the water that was flush. We are going to dump this. This is the stuff that comes out through the filter and everything else. That way it cleans itself out. Now, we've got a light come on. It says pure water storage. I can hear the pump running. Currently, with a pump running, we have 23 watts of power being used. 23 watts. It is said 30 watts on the machine. Uh, we are using 23 watts of power. We have it plugged in right here. That is what this system's using. So in a grid down scenario, even a small solar generator, gasoline generator, whatever, but one of these small ones, something that you could plug up with solar, yeah, SHTF events, you have the availability to produce drinkable water. So we need to get some testing done. This is a very simple system to use. It's all touchscreen, very easy to do. We have our tester here. Oh, for the testing, there should be some pop-ups here for you. That is the government's recommendation on the PPM levels of your drinking water and also your EC levels of your drinking water. All right. Our well water is not very good. Okay. We run charcoal filters on ours and coming here into the house. And quite frankly, when I started testing it, I wasn't happy with it. And I'll show you why here in just a second. So once this done filtering, it's filtering now, we will get some water out and we'll test. So before we do that, I'm gonna open up this back. We're gonna get some test levels, all right? So we're gonna test out our PPM first. I'm gonna set this down in there. PPM level of 831. Yeah, 831. I don't know if that's gonna come up on our camera, but 831. Remember those numbers. That is coming from our well. I'm gonna test out the EC. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse that off. I got some distilled water over there just to rinse off my tester. I'm going to put this down in here. I'm going to match the hold button. 1,917 is our EC level. Yeah. 1,917. Again, our graphs. It's pretty high. All right. So I am going to turn this off. I'm going to rinse it our cap back on close this down it is still filtering out our water as soon as that is done filtering I got my old coffee mug here we're going to uh, do some testing on our well water set that right there all right so our filtration pump just turned off uh, we have many different selections as far as how much water we want to come out of the spout so the first selection here is 180 milliliters 
the next one 350 milliliters and the third 450 milliliters we're going to go with the 180 I'm going to filter it out so that way I don't overflow my coffee cup now this is water that's been filtered out purified by the reverse osmosis system also in the system they have a built-in UV system in there that also gets rid of bacteria that's inside your water so it does have that built-in UV it automatically runs now that we have our water filtered out turn this on let's go to our PPM set this down in here I'm gonna mash my hold button we are at 60 ppms all right 60 should be a pop-up up here with our old number before we filtered before we ran through the reverse osmosis and the 60 major difference there all right so we are going to be checking our next test it's going to be our ec let me go ahead and rinse this off our ec levels we are at 121 is our ec level we were over a thousand i think yeah we're like 1900 we're nearly 2000 on our ec level if i remember correctly should be a pop up there that is a huge jump in the filtration on just the ec level alone so guys <laughs> That's a big difference right there. I am thirsty, so. Uh, tastes like water, which tastes like nothing. So, awesome. Now, that is our test against our well water, our drinking water. You saw those levels. Ridiculously high. Like I said, all we have is a charcoal, activated carbon charcoal filter on our well. And that's just not safe to be drinking that, that way. I'm glad we have a reverse osmosis system. But like I said, we have a generic uh, Berkey style filter. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some water out of that. With these systems, they use uh, a core of activated carbon and ceramic. Now, this is our water from that. It's in the lower section, so it's already been purified. This is what we usually use here at the house for our drinking water. All right, well, let's go ahead and make sure we are rinsed off. We're going to check out the PPM levels. Oh, wow. Put this on hold. 562. That is the PPM level. That is a huge jump from... The reverse osmosis machine to the gravity fed filtration system 562 on the ppm level so let's check out our ec level when to rinse that off set it down in here wow hit hold 1080 on our ec level 1080 that is uh, I'm not happy with that at all <laughs> we've been drinking this water believing it was a lot cleaner well technically it was cleaner than our carbon filters but it just goes to show the reverse osmosis system has a lot better system on purifying your water so anyway, guys, definitely appreciate you hanging out with us. Again, if you're interested in the Sempure, links are in the description. Also, links for the replacement water filters. So you have filtration. As preppers, we want to have extra filters, right? Extra filters for your water filtration. Guys, we've shown it. Low power wattage. We were under 30 watts while we are running this thing. You can have clean, drinkable water during grid down, during SHTF, right in your home. All right, guys. Talk to you all later.